movie arrived today called This Gun for Hire. Um, it's a noir film. This is probably the second noir film I've seen. The other one was The Maltese Falcon. And it's kind of one of those movies I've seen Razor Fist Time about, and I thought I would just watch it to see if I'd like it. I did. I fairly enjoyed it. Um, and I thought I would make a recommendation for it, which is if I had to rate it, yeah, 8 out of 10. Um, basically, to give you an idea of the plot, is there's this guy who's a hired gun, and he kills someone. And then his employer backstabs him. And he kind of goes on a... Uh, he pursues this for, the person who put him up to it. He ult- And along the way, some other woman gets caught in the middle of it. Or it comes in... Or So I'm trying to remember now, because the problem with me is I'm kind of a skimmer, so I sometimes skim through stuff. So I might have missed some important details, so I have no idea what I should be leaving out and what I shouldn't. And what I should be including in this. Although it has some good dialogue. My favorite line was um, the guy who set Raven up, the protagonist. He get Well, one of the characters anyway. He goes, um, he finds out that a lady he had just hired to work in this establishment of his had actually been seen on the train with Raven. And his boss is like, apparently you are... Apparently you are... I should know. Hang on. I have it written down. Okay, here it is. It was something to the effect of him saying, apparently you want to commit suicide. Which I thought was kind of funny. Because um, his boss was pissed at him that he didn't take care of Raven. And Raven did all the dirt, all the hard work. And he's just taking credit for it, I guess. And it has a... What's the word? A bittersweet ending, I guess. My only problem with noirs is there's no continuation, I think, because it's just like a sing, like noirs could I believe work as pulps. For all I know, they're probably they probably haven't made into pulps. I would like to know. I kind of wish there was more to do with this. Like I wanted to know more about. Like you actually learned some of Raven's background throughout the mo- at one point in the movie, which is. Um, well, one thing is you find out that he likes cats. He has a fondness for cats. The other is that he had an that he had an abusive aunt. His dad and mom were not a factor in his childhood at a certain point. And uh, yeah, it's really sad actually. Now that I look back on it, there's also this, and I think about the up and coming Second World War. World War. Uh, that's all I can say, really, without giving too much away. Um, I wasn't going to mention this, but um, it is made by one of the guys who wrote it was a communist, but I would say he did a really good job for a communist. Um, Robert, or no, what was his name? He actually wrote some I'm trying to read right now. Albert Maltz. He, he wrote what we now know today as What Shall We Ask of Writers? Um, I'm still trying to, I've been trying to get around to reading it. But then again, I've got a shitload of stuff to read, so. Literally, I've got a pile of books that I need to read, so it's gonna probably going to be a while. But um, anyway, anyway, um, that's the plot, and more or less what happens. There's a woman in it named, I believe her name was Veronica Lake. It was made in the 40s. Decent movie. Well, actually, more than decent. I liked it. I liked the... One thing I kind of, and free, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong about this about noir. Um, one of the things I've kind of, things I've come to assume about is it doesn't really tell you if your person is a good guy or a bad guy. You, it gives you like little details, like their subtlety, and you are able to piece together what kind of a is this person good or bad. Um. I would say Raven wasn't a bad person. He just had a really bad hand given to him from the start, and he was given a bad hand to play with. So, yeah, I'm probably wrong on that, but fuck it. That's, like, my interpretation of Noir so far. I'm I'm hoping to watch some more in the future. Maybe DOA. But, um, yeah, that's the funny thing about Noirs, though, is, like, I think all of them have some connection to an American communist at one point or another.
or some of them do anyway. But anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to drag politics in this. It's just like, I see people all the time say, uh, oh, you shouldn't watch this or read this, or that you're a bad person for liking this because the person who made this is like a racist or so-and-so. Well, I thought I'd do the same thing for the commies. So, yeah, just bear that in mind. A little petty, but fuck it. Um, good film. I really like this one scene where, um, actually I didn't like it, but it kind of, I knew it was coming, but it still kind of struck me, was a lady was scaring at a cat. Raven tears this woman's dress as he spins her around, and he beats, bitch slaps her. Like, he bitch slaps her hard, like, ramrod straight, no holds bar. (laughs) And I found it kind of funny. I'm like, yes. I'm sorry, but if you do anything negative towards an animal, particularly a cat or a dog... You forfeit your right to human decency. And this video's gone, this has gone, uh, this little audio bit's gone on longer than I probably should have had it going. But yeah, good. If you can tolerate watching something made by a communist, then yes. Like, if the communist thing does not bother you, then I highly recommend watching this. Um, just like I would recommend watching The Maltese Falcon, it's also a good movie. Um, and yeah, I think that's where I'll end it. Um, like again, just give this movie a try. You might like it and have a nice day. Remember the game was rigged from the start.